Hey, this is bit to brain and today I want to show you a few of the net commands available to you within the Windows command line. Well, there are a few commands, there are actually several commands you can use within the command line. A lot of people don't know about them. There's like net use, net user, net use, net local group, net session, net print, net computer. There's there's a ton of net commands, uh, but there's usually just a handful that you're actually going to use that you would use in everyday practice, especially if you're a system administrator and you have to create a lot of, of accounts shared folders and stuff like that it's just much simpler just to do it within a batch file and you'd be using these net commands to do it so if you don't want to navigate through a GUI or something like that I mean it's pretty simple in your command line you just want to create a quick user account you can do it right there or create a share or something like that it's pretty simple and it's good information to know so the first thing I want to show you is um, when you open up your command line if you've never done that before basically you come down here your search bar, type CMD. You want to open this, open this up as administrator. So you see when you're running as administrator, you get the user access control prompt here by default. You'll see administrator. Now if I don't have administrator, if I just open up a command prompt, you'll see command prompt, not logged as administrator. And that won't help you because when you're running scripts and all that, you want to be an administrator. So, and this is a Windows 8 instance I have over here on the right. And you see administrator midway through the window. Um, so let's the first command I'll look at is net view. So type in net view, and you'll see these are the shared computers on our network. Okay, this THX is a Mac on my uh, network. Windows 2012 is my Active Directory server. This Win 7 laptop is my Windows uh, 7 laptop, which is this computer right here. The Win 8 laptop is this on the right, this virtual instance over here. So I've got seven over here and I've got eight over here. So we want to see what's on the domain. Well, what the domain is. Get off my lawn. That's my domain. So that's good. If you're wondering what domain my system's on, I can quickly check that there. It's get off my lawn. Now you can do that within the GUI, but this is pretty quick too. If you're here, you can do so much stuff. You just stay in the command line and you can find all this stuff out. So now if we want to see the actual systems on the domain colon get off my lawn and now you see this is what we got in the beginning but that's how you get there so you can see the same systems there now let's say let's go ahead and clear this let's say we want to go ahead and create a new user so how do we do that we use the net user command not net use net user all right now let's go ahead and create an account so let's create an account net user that's what we're going to use to create user accounts net user bob so that's going to be the name of our user account bob and it's going to be on this local machine not on a domain okay i'll show you how to do that later but net user bob asterisk so it's going to ask us for a password okay we can put a password in now but asterisk it'll just prompt us for a password so slash add that right now if i were to add this which i'll go ahead and do that put in a password it's going to ask us to verify that password. Now if we type in net users, we'll see Bob's there. Now if we type in net user Bob, we will see the breakdown of Bob's account. He has no full name. He can log in when he wants. Uh, there's no restrictions on his login hours. But let's say Bob, Bob is in the doghouse. We want to restrict Bob's account to certain hours. We also want to put a full name on Bob's account. Okay, so let's say net user Bob slash. Now let's first of all put in the times when Bob can log in. So time, Monday through Friday. He's gonna he's gonna get bankers hours. So we'll say is her bankers hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, I don't even know if it's 8 to 5. Okay, 9 to 5, and the full name. So we'll Say Bob's name, and make sure you put the parenthesis on there. Bob Jones. Okay, so now when we say net user Bob, Bob is now have, he now has restricted hours. Okay, he's Bob Jones. He's on a short leash now. He can only log in during these certain hours. So let's say Bob, we want to add Bob to a group. Now what are our groups, our local groups? Net local groups. This will tell us. Oh, it's local groups. Sorry. And these are the groups we have. 
currently. These are the built-in ones. I have some Kings one here. I don't even remember doing that, but that's in there. I don't even know what that means. But let's say we want to create a, a local group that is just for people like Bob. So we'll say net local group. Uh, we'll call it uh, short leash because he's on a short leash. So now we say net local group short leash. Okay. So now we want to add Bob to that short leash group. Short leash, Bob, add. Okay. So now net user, Bob. And we see Bob is now on the short leash group. I mean, we haven't assigned any, you know, rights to this group or anything like that. So it really doesn't mean much, but it just shows you that's how you would do it. Now, if you'd want to get rid of Bob out of that group, you just delete. So now, up arrow key, up arrow key. We'll see net user Bob again. Now, if you don't know that, by the way, you're like, how do you type this stuff so fast? Just use the up arrow key, and it'll give you previous commands. Huge time saver. Net user Bob. And now he's no longer a member of that group. Actually, let's go ahead and delete Bob. Bob, we're done with Bob. Bob's being 86. Net user Bob slash delete and now we say net user no more bob no more super view bob so let's clear this screen now let's say we want to add bob to uh the domain well let's first of all check out the domain let's see the users on our domain so net user slash domain oh we have a bob there bob is already there so let's add let's add um a John, net user, John. We add slash domain. Now we also want to give him uh, certain times that he can log in. Now this guy, we're only allowing one day a week. He's really on a short leash. He's like 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. He's also getting a full name. Of John Jones. Okay, so we, we do um, net user slash domain, and we see that he now, John is now in there. Great, woohoo! Net user John domain. And we see he has his crazy specific hours. Now he's not a mer member of any global groups other than the uh, default domain user so let's go ahead and see net group domain now these are the groups we can assign to john so we'll say net group and i want to put him in the gray hat group john slash add whoops i forgot my domain in there so now when we do net user John domain. We'll see he is now he is now a member of the Gray Hat group. So it's pretty simple to do these things. Um, you can imagine if you have a lot of uh, accounts to add, you can add this to a batch file and just run it. You know, there's a whole host of options that you can select, a whole host of options that will allow you to modify, that will allow you to add and delete certain characteristics of the account. So let's go ahead and delete John. So net user John domain. Okay, you see he's not there anymore. So net user domain. Now John's gone. Actually, I want to get rid of a few of these guys. Uh, Bob. Get rid of Dave too. All right, so that's a little cleaner. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now I want to go ahead and share a folder. Okay, let's go back. Oops, not LS, I'm not in Linux. So I've got this couple test directories here. I just created these. Well, let's go ahead and create one. Let's call this. Uh, Test three. OK, 
Okay. Type in dir, and you can see your list of uh, folders there. So we're going to share this test three folder. So we want to type in net share. Okay, the name of what we want to call this share. So for simplicity, I'll just call this test three, but we can call this anything. And now colon backslash. Now we're sharing this in in C. So C. Forgot my equal sign there. So C colon slash. And we're going to use test three. Now the thing is, if you use the directory that had a space there, make sure you use the parenthesis. So like for whatever reason, if you had like test space three, which is a terrible idea if you're ever going to share a directory, just have it all one sequence. But if you had to do that, make sure you use the parenthesis. Okay, this would actually work, but I want to also add a remark. I'm a terrible typist. This is a test shared folder. Now let's say we also only want to grant this shared folder to certain people. So we grant, oops, need the slash there. So we want to grant this to everyone. And we only want to get them uh, read access. So you can make that full, but I'm going to make it read only and let's say we only give it to a certain amount of users because we're on a struggling network and we only want a few people on there at a time so three so we say okay and it's created successfully so let's go ahead and clear that out oh if you come over here by the way and type in net share with nothing you'll see that these are the shares that you're actually making available so if we want to not make these available anymore So now when we type in net share, we'll see that it's no longer shared. So I don't want to share this shared folder either. So it's pretty simple. Net share, and you see it's no longer shared. So let's clear the screen. So now we want to go ahead and use our net use command, and that'll allow us to share the folder we just created. So we type in net use backslash backslash win seven a laptop because that's where our share is obviously and the share that we want to grab is test three. Now well I want to actually assign this to a specific drive so we want to assign this to the M drive. Also I want to make this persistent so anytime this fires up it's automatically going to connect to it. So we just type in P colon yes to give us a persistent connection. So now we type in net share or net use. We'll see now that we have the share on our M drive. But you see it's interesting it doesn't show up here. When you log out and log back in you'll see it but you won't see it there. So now if we want to delete this share Net use. So net use. And we see it's no longer shared. Go ahead and clear the screen. So basically, that's how you create accounts, delete accounts, create shares, use the shares. But you know, with net, there's so many commands here. Like you could check out your time quickly. Net time. So net view. We showed you that earlier. These are actually the machines on your network. And if you want to see the domain, so you can see net computer. That's if you want to add computers, you want to add to domain. See net group. Oh, well, that'll show you, which we did earlier, under domain. So you can add, delete groups that way, add users to the group delete users from the group. There's just a lot of things that you can do with the net commands and I definitely encourage you to play around with them a little bit. Because like I said before, creating batch files, even simple two, three line batch files can save you so much time. 
in the long run and not have to um, you know navigate through the GUI and manually do these things. You just click a button and make sure you run it as an administrator when you do it. Because a lot of times people go to run scripts and it just opens and closes and they have no idea what's going on. You actually have to run it as administrator. So if, so let's say, for instance, we want to create um, like a, a few accounts quickly. So a few generic accounts and we want the uh, user to change their password when they log in. So we can make this hundreds of accounts. But for this simple example, let's just create a few. So I'm going to open up Notepad Plus. Create a new account or create a new file. So we say like net user. And we'll just say user one. So we'll put this under domain. And we'll say these guys are only allowed Monday through Wednesday. 8 p.m. through, they have weird hours, 11 p.m. Now we're going to say log in or log on password change. Yes, now that just basically says when the next time they log in, they're going to have to change their password. Now we could get really fancy and say these guys can only log in to workstations or Win 8 laptop. Now... We need to add a password. So we're going to give all these guys a generic password. So we'll say gen password1, which is just exclamation point. So we just want to copy this a few times. So all we do is just change the username. So we've got three of them. So you can imagine if we were to just take this and copy and paste it over and over and over and we created like a hundred different accounts. So every time we had to create a new account, we just bam, run this. If we had, you know, whatever, we had to create a hundred accounts, we could just do that every time. Now the important thing is when you save this and run it, we're going to just call this test. Put on the desktop. Yes is when we run this, if we just click on it and run it, we'll say net users, it doesn't show anything. You have to run this as administrator. So once you do that, you say net users. Oh, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Let's go edit this and see where we screwed up. Run this again. So net users. That's no, net users domain. Sorry. Duh. Yeah. So we see the user, user two, user three. They're all there. So you can see how easy that is. So when the user goes to log in next time, which actually I'll, I'll try doing that from here. So. Log off. User one, gen, password. And now you see your user password must be changed. So we can change it to whatever. But now you see that user is not allowed to log on to this machine. But that makes sense because we set it up to only allow us to log on to the workstation over here, Win Laptop 8, not Win Laptop 7. So this works perfectly. So as you can see, it's really cool that, you know, how you can just create a batch file and create so many user accounts so quickly. So you can do that with shares, create and shares, delete and shares, something like that. It's just excellent. And I, so I'd say learn these net commands, at least uh, net use, net user. Uh, net share, net view, things like that. That'll help you out a lot, uh, especially if you're a system administrator and someone who has to create lots of accounts really fast. All right, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope to have more for you soon. As always, this is Jesse for Bit the Brain. Thanks for watching.